Hi guys, if you live in the UK, then you may have seen or received a communication from your mobile network operator that they're going to shut down their 3G network. And this is not limited to the UK only. Many mobile network operators around the world are shutting down their 3G networks. But the question is, does it really matter? And do you need to do something about it? Well, in this video, what I'm going to do is that I'll first share with you what is happening in the UK and what mobile network operators are saying and I will then show you technically what it means from a network perspective so that you can make an informed decision if somebody randomly starts calling you in the next few weeks and trying to sell you 4G or 5G phones. So let's dive right in and I'll show you what 3G network shutdown really means. According to Ofcom, the regulatory authority in the UK, mobile operators have confirmed that they will shut down their 2G and 3G networks by 2033 at the latest. Now, I know what you're thinking, 2033 seems far, far away, and you're right, it is. But the 3G networks will be switched off first, and mobile operators in the UK are already starting it this year. Let's have a look at this table to see what's going on. Vodafone has already started shutting down and is in the final phase of this month, which means January 2024. They're keeping the 2G GSM network and shutting down the 3G UMTS network. Everything Everywhere EE is starting the 3G switch off this month and they're using the same approach as Vodafone, that is, the 3G UMTS network goes and 2G GSM stays. Then we have another mobile network operator, 3. 3 is interesting because it doesn't have a 2G GSM network. They're starting to shut down the 3G network in April this year and the whole project should finish in 2024. And finally, we have our fourth mobile network operator in the UK, O2. O2 is not shutting down anything this year, but is running some trials. They plan to start shutting down next year in 2025. Approach-wise, they're doing the same as Vodafone and EE that is keeping 2G GSM and getting rid of 3G UMTS. Now, if you're using a SIM card from an MVNO, for example, Sky Mobile or Esta Mobile, then let me show you this table so you know what's happening with your mobile service provider. I'm not listing down all the MVNOs in the UK, but still a bunch of them. If you are with Asda Mobile, Libara, Talk Mobile, or Voxy, these MVNOs use Vodafone cell towers. So the Vodafone's timelines apply to them also. For them, the 3G switch off process has already started and is in the final phases. Similarly, BT Mobile and Leica Mobile use EE, so the 3G switch off process starts in January this year. Smarty and ID Mobile use 3's radio network, so the 3G switch off will start in April and be complete in 2024. And finally, Sky Mobile, Tesco Mobile, and GIFCAF use O2's radio network, which means nothing changes this year, but the 3G switch off starts next year. So, this is all really interesting, isn't it? Because the 3G networks are going away, but the 2G networks that are older are staying for a while. As you may know, there are four generations of mobile networks that are live currently. 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G. 5G is the most recent. So if we think of 5G as a child, 4G as a parent, and 3G as a grandparent, then 2G will have to be the great-grandparent. So 3G, the grandparent, has to retire. Meanwhile, the great-grandparent, 2G, continues to work as usual. Now that sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? Are you with me? All right, good. Now let me explain something to you and then it'll all make sense. 2G GSM and 3G UMTS networks use the same approach for enabling mobile services. Both of these technologies use a very conventional or traditional or in plain English, let's use the word old. So they use an old technique called circuit switch for voice calls and text messages. In the more recent networks like 4G and 5G, all services, including voice calls, text messages, and mobile data, use the Internet Protocol or IP. For example, when you use Wi-Fi calling, or Voice over LTE, VoLTE, Voice over 5G NR, Voner, they all use IP or data to enable voice calls. It means that even if they remove the 3G UMTS network, your voice calls and text messages can still use the same circuit switch technology from 2G GSM networks whenever you don't have 4G or 5G coverage. 
so your voice calls and text messages will still work as long as you have 2G coverage. Since 2G is the oldest technology, it is more widely spread and it also uses lower frequencies which travel further which means it has a better reach. The other important thing is that 2G networks are also widely used for cellular IoT or mobile IoT, Internet of Things, so services like smart meters. Since the same 2G GSM network is used for these services, it makes sense to keep the GSM networks for now. As you know, your energy meters, especially in the UK, are placed in the most awkward places because on average, you don't have as much space here as in the US or Canada or some other countries. So you need a technology that can just get into those awkward places and just be there for you or for your meters. Since GSM employs lower frequencies, it is more likely to be there for you even if your smart meter is hiding under the stairs. And of course, not to mention, it can just as easily reach your cell phone also. Thanks for watching the video guys. I've written a detailed post on this topic and the link is in the description. If you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.